A man accused of killing four members of his own family is on trial for the second time because the first one ended in a hung jury. Jessica Schmidt has some updates from inside the courtroom from the alert desk. And very interesting changes this time around, Tricia. So we can tell you that witnesses are now taking the stand in Gurpreet Singh's murder trial in Butler County. He's accused of killing his wife, her parents, and his wife's aunt in a Westchester apartment complex back in 2019. A panel of three judges will decide his guilt instead of a jury this time. Those judges were taken out to the crime scene today. Prosecutors say that Singh had a strained relationship with the victims in this case. They also argue there's evidence he was having a long-term affair with a woman in Indiana who he'd given money and a car. They believe he planned the murders for quite a while. But Singh's defense attorney claims although he was there when the murder happened, he did not do it. She claims neighbors even saw a dark figure on the apartment patio the night of the murder, someone who then ran away from the scene. She points instead to a fight over land involving men from India as a possible motive and says investigators only focused on Singh in this case because he was not honest with them about his affair. This defendant made sure his children would not be home. And this defendant made sure to choose a time when the four victims shown before you would be at their most vulnerable, <clears throat> laying in their own bed, making tea in their own kitchen sitting on their own couch watching television. You will see it's much easier for the state to arrest and charge the man who lied and was at the scene than to investigate an international lead of this magnitude. So once they have their liar, the process begins. Build a case to argue to you that's the guy who killed those four people in Westchester. So again, prosecutors are now calling witnesses to the stand, most of them right now just focusing on the forensics. They've also shown an illustration of the crime scene showing where each victim was found. One thing I really want to point out here, Trisha, is during the first trial, Singh had a completely different defense team, and they were arguing that Singh was not there when the murders happened, that he got home and found them dead and called 911. This new defense attorney taking a different approach, she's saying Singh is now admitting he was there when the murders happened, but didn't do it. Wait, wait, so, wait. A big change. Big, big change this time around. So uh, the jury, they're going to hear that or not? They're going to keep that out of it? Well, no, no. So in this case, since it's the three panels judges. So will the judges around, know? Okay, so where the judges know that he changed the whole. Right. That's a good question, right? Because a lot of the stuff from the first trial will be the same evidence, but we don't think that same defense will be brought up during the second trial. It's a completely new trial. So just an interesting tidbit there. It is a different defense this time around. Different attorney, different claims. And they found the gun in the lake right outside the condo. Isn't that right? Yes, yes, that's what prosecutors say. They, they are claiming that he threw it over the balcony. Mm -hmm. This new defense attorney is claiming that can't be possible because of some footprints that were found at the scene. And like I mentioned, she did say that neighbors are claiming they saw a dark figure. She's claiming that couldn't have been him. All right, just a lot to unpack. That's a lot.